Lauren. <coughs> oh Jesus. Hi, I'm Lauren. Welcome back to Books and Brains. So I thought I would do a video that I'm really excited about. Um, a while ago when I was in therapy, my therapist stressed that I start doing things like grounding exercises and I came across this advert on Facebook for a company called Live Spiffy and they do sort of products and books and things like that that are helpful for um, mindfulness and positivity and positive thinking so I love their company so much and so when I found out that they were doing a mystery box I was like I have to get that and I can film a video so this is not sponsored I bought the box myself I love the company so I just thought that I'd you know, buy the box and talk about it so here are the Live Spiffy products I already have. I have this, the big three things to do today list, which helps me to manage my expectations of what I'm going to do each day. I literally do one of these every single night before I go to bed. This is my one from yesterday. So that's like perfect for me. I also have this, which is um, a grounding exercise so you write in where you can taste and feel and see. There is a little colouring section at the top. This is really useful especially at night. I have quite bad panic attacks that tend to flare up in the evening and so grounding myself is really handy especially during exposure therapy. So I always have this on my desk because this is where I sit to do my exposure therapy. So having this here is a reminder and especially one that I can fill in is really helpful to me. I also really like Spiffy because the last time I ordered I got a little thing that said who packed my order which is Georgina. She is a share fan. She has an impressive enamel pin collection. So I like that you get to hear about the people. It's not just a kind of faceless corporation. I also got a little um, business card with a list of loads of helplines and stuff which are really handy during lockdown because I know a lot of people are really struggling. So, because I'm bad at opening things, I'm going to just try and squeeze things out. So, firstly, let's see who packed it. Lisa, massive fan of Christmas, loves tea and toast with real butter, not so secret jam tart fanatic, Big fan of the band Queen, me too. Hi Lisa, thank you for packing my thing. So this is what I meant about the little, you are loved and it has things for like mind and Samaritans and child line and things like that, which is I think so nice. So you also get a little postcard um, that thanks you for supporting a small business. So thank you, Sean and Paul, that says, when things get tough, make life as easy as possible. Done is better than perfect. I think I really need to hear that, especially that last bit. Done is better than perfect should be my life motto. So let's see what else we have. Okay, what's this? Ooh, grapefruit, geranium, and mandarin. Shower bomb. One thing is I really like the smell of grapefruit, but I can't eat it because of the um, medication that I'm on. So it's really cute that Oh, I love this because then I'm going to be able to kind of smell grapefruit and have that like grapefruit vibe in my life. <laughs> I love these. I have so many of them and I get through them because I break them a lot. But if you don't know, this is a really cute fidget toy. I love these so I'm so excited to have a replacement because I literally just broke my last ones. So that's handy. <laughs> oh, a lanyard. See, I I like lanyards, I'm not going to lie. Be the rainbow in somebody else's rain cloud. Oh, that's got that. So I'm hoping that I actually have a chance to use this sometimes because recently I've been using my flower, my sunflower lanyard a lot, which is the kind of UK thing. I don't know if it's everywhere else that says like I have an invisible disability which is basically just handy for me in shots and things if I'm stimming and stuff that people don't look at me really weirdly or if they do they're like oh I'm the asshole. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to use this. I'm excited to use it maybe as a fun alternative. I especially like the rainbow because as you all know, I am part of the LGBT community. So I'm really excited for that. They know me so well. <laughs> they know me so well. It has a twin. I literally, I literally just showed you that I have one of these and now it has a twin. So now I have either extra or I can give this to a friend who might also benefit from it. Oh, so this one's, this one's so sweet. This is a postcard that says, take a moment to stop and celebrate how far you've already come. Savor it, be proud, you have done amazingly well and you deserve to pause and just feel good about it. How nice of a message is that? That's so sweet. Oh, it's also by Jess Rachel Sharp. So thank you, Jess Rachel Sharp. I love your design and I love your words. It made me very happy. So, oh, it looks like I've got another one of these pads thing. I am so shook. I actually looked at buying this and decided that I wouldn't buy it. I would wait and see whether I liked the spiffy stuff before it arrived. So when I ordered my big three booklet and the calm your mind one, I was going to order this one and I didn't because I wanted to see whether I like the company. I think this is another one that's really great for autistic people or people who have like ADHD or people who maybe have like sort of impulse issues. So even tell you how to use on the back. So in number one, you write the problem that you're facing. You ask the first why. Why is your problem occurring? Ask why four more times, work sequentially, basing your question on the last answer you've written. An appropriate change or solution should become more apparent. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with this box. I was kind of worried that it had come with like, have you ever seen like mystery box videos where it comes and it's like, here's a pencil topper. Ooh, it's a small pack of glitter. And you're like, what am I gonna do with that? And see the person like trying to be enthusiastic about it and they're like oh yay a pencil topper i always feel so sad about my naked pencil tops <laughs> i i haven't had anything that i don't like i guess the only thing that i was like a little bit worried about is this shower bomb because i was like mm, i don't have showers so i have a bath you can use it in the bath so i have literally nothing to complain about but except that noise that that makes so I think I'm down to my last thing. Anybody loves foam peanuts, you actually got like 50 extra gifts in here. So last thing is the happy broadcast. How to stay positive, take action and make the world a better place. This is perfect for me. True stories of everyday people using their talents, skills and goodwill to create positive change. I love this. As you all know from this channel, I'm an advocate, especially for things like autism awareness. And I think it's really important that we do have this like kind of notion that we can change things and that like every person has the opportunity to change things. And aside from being a really cute and really aesthetic little book that makes me very happy and will look super cute on my shelf. And again, rainbowy, so subtle pride. I really like this book. I think it sounds super cute. Also, it says anxiety free on the back. So if I'm not anxiety free by the event, end of it, Spiffy, I'm suing. <laughs> um, though I think I probably will be closer to anxiety free with all of these things. Um, but I'm just glancing through and it has really cute um, illustrations in it as well. So also, this is unrelated and probably won't be like a selling point to anybody else, but the inside's yellow and yellow is my favourite colour. <laughs> so it's anxiety free news. If that isn't what I need right now, like all of the news at the moment is COVID, terrible things, politics. Like for example, let's just turn to a random page and we'll find out some good news. That's so great. 
Whale sightings in New York City waters have increased by 540% since 2010, from 5 to 272, thanks to the successes of environmental policies. Yay! Gosh. To prevent wildfires, the Portuguese government brought in herds of goats to manage thick undergrowth by doing what they do best. Munch, look how cute the goat firefighter is. Oh my, I could just do this all day and be like, let's pretend the news doesn't exist. Let's pick another one. Here's one, a great disability one. A blind inventor has revolutionised the walking stick by developing a smart cane which uses Google Maps and ultrasonic sensors to identify surroundings. That's amazing. <laughs> if you are looking for a fun, like, gift, £20 is a pretty, like, decent gift amount. I really recommend a spiffy gift box or a mystery box. If you're thinking of a gift for somebody or Maybe, like, somebody you know is just having a really tough time, especially in lockdown, I guess a lot of people are, then this might be a really nice thing to send to them. Um, so thank you so much to Spiffy for these. Like I said, this wasn't sponsored, I bought this box myself. And I, I think that's it. I'm really, really impressed with this. Really good value for money. It's... I'm actually shocked because I have bought mystery boxes in the past that have been like, here's two stickers and like a party popper. And you're like, I spent 20 quid on this. <laughs> but this one's genuinely good value for money. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been a little just time away from the news, time away from stress or whatever. Um, you know what? Let's end with one last fact from the happy broadcast so stop i can't hear you so i'm just gonna stop myself once a year berlin's unwanted christmas trees are used as food for zoo elephants oh i'm going to go and fill myself with happy broadcast news and i hope that you have a lovely day i shall see you soon Follow me on Instagram at bookish and brainish if you like, and I shall see you next time.